Hello and welcome to Leith's School of Food and Wine. I'm here with Nigel Mitchell. He's the Head of Nutrition at uh, Sky Pro Cycling. Nigel, we're going to be talking now about juices. That's right. um, now, a lot of people will have a juice maybe uh, in the morning before they go to work. Uh, how, how do you do juices for the guys on tour? Well, we use a lot of juicing on the, uh, in the team. And each rider will get through maybe a litre of juice a day. And we have it at every single meal. Okay. And the reason why that we use the juice is that it is such a simple way of getting the nutrients in. We can see what we've got here. We've got loads of fresh vegetables here. So we've got some carrots, we've got cucumber, we've got ginger, we've got beetroot, and we've got some celery. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to puree that down in the Thermomix. We're going to add some pineapple juice to that to give it some more liquid and then we're going to strain it through the jelly strainer. Now in the tour there we use a actual juicing machine. Okay. Uh, that makes the job a little bit easier but what I'm doing here is something that somebody could do with a food processor at home uh, and not necessarily go to the expense of having a bespoke juicer, something they can do for themselves. The beetroot is fantastic. The riders love beetroot because not only of the colour but also from a nutritional point of view, we know that beetroot's really good in nitrates that can, that can be useful from a, the blood point of view. Uh, also things such as the ginger, celery and cucumber are all good again for the kidneys, helping the body to process some of the, uh, getting rid of some of the waste from the metabolites in, in the body. Not only are we getting the nutrients from the juice, we're also getting fluid. So okay. this is part of what we would call our positive hydration strategy. Okay pushing the fluid all the time. When the riders get up on the morning, they go to see the doctor and the doctor will give them some juice. They come down to the breakfast table and there's fresh fruit and vegetable juice waiting for them at the table. So what we're doing is we're encouraging them to drink all of the time. So how much fluid would a, would a rider take in maybe on a day uh, of the tour and how much before they go out, how much afterwards and how much during? Right, approximately before they actually get to the race, they might drink as much as uh, three to four litres. Uh, during the actual uh, race itself, then they may have uh, up to uh, five litres during the race, depending on the stage, uh, trying to get through uh, a litre, litre and a half per hour on the, on the actual stage itself. And would you advise a similar sort of strategy for us when we're, when we're riding out, out on the road ourselves, non-pros? Well, well, when we're out riding, if people can try and work on about 500 mils to a litre per hour, the good okay. thing with it is that if you're drinking more than what you need, you just pee it out. I'm just going to add some pineapple juice to this. And you did that's just shop-bought pineapple juice? This one is just shop-bought pineapple juice. And actually, when, we, when we're at the race, one of the part of the strategy again is we give the riders a diluted pineapple juice because it encourages them to drink. Okay. Okay, so what we'll do with this now is take the lid off. Mm -hmm. We can see we've got this really nice puree there. Yeah. Now, this is where you have to be quite careful because the, the beetroot makes a really nice mess if we're okay. not careful. I've got a white shirt You've got a white shirt on. So I'll stand back. So this is just, again, this is just a, a jelly straining bag. So these are really cheap. This one cost me £3.99. Okay. Uh, and all it does, we use it to strain the juice. So, so the idea by straining this, we're removing the undigestible fibre. So again, all that means is that the riders can get more nutrition in for the, for the amount that they're consuming. Hold that. So if you were to leave that pith in and all, all the pulp, yeah. uh, would it, it would take longer for them to digest? Would it yeah. sit on their stomachs? Yeah. Well, one of the other things with that is that, in effect, it fills the rider. Okay. So, so if they're eating, you can see there, uh, just short of a kilo's worth of vegetables. So if you're eating that, that fills your tummy up. Yeah. And that means that you, you haven't got room for getting some of the other foods in. Whereas if we take it in the form of a juice, it means we're getting all the goodness, all the nutrients there from that wide range of fruit and vegetables without the actual volume of it. So Nigel, this has been here now draining for around about half an hour. That's right, yeah. Tell us what next. So just to finish it off, so it's been draining for about 30 minutes, I'll give it a squeeze. And you can actually do this earlier just to speed it up, okay. but it can be messy. It can be really, really messy. Yeah, I can see that. So just giving it a really good squeeze to get the last of the, the juice out. Bit of good exercise as well, this to be honest, actually. <laughs> um, and are there certain riders who, who are really keen on the juice oh, and some yeah. who don't like it? All of the riders drink it, okay. but we've got some riders in particular, uh, Bradley Wiggins, Mark Cavendish, 
when the chef brings the juice out, their eyes light up. They <laughs> absolutely love it. So just to recap, we've got beetroot, carrot, cucumber, celery and ginger. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, that's correct. There you go. My memory's not so bad after all. But the cool. riders would drink a much bigger glass than that. Well, it smells of beetroot. Predominantly, it smells of beetroot, isn't it? Yeah. I've got to say, it's tasty. It's really it's good tasty, to eat. Yeah. The ginger's there as well. You, your initial thoughts is, this is not going to be great. No. But actually, when you, when you taste that, it's... And it does encourage you to drink as well. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you, Nigel. I feel ready and energised for the rest of the day now. OK. <laughs> All right.